Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today on this uh, little adventure. Today we're going to be uh, checking out a couple of old barns. You can see one over my shoulder this way. There's an old house this way. And there's a nice barn right here. So we're going to check it all out, go inside, go up in the lofts if we can. And we're going to go inside that old house. Would you do me a favor right now and click the subscribe button? And then click the bell right next to it so you'll be notified on any new videos I put out. So uh, here we go. All right. We're going in this barn here. And this barn does not have a loft. Look at that structure. That's awesome. Some of this has been added. So right here is where the uh, hay would have been put in for the uh, cows or any livestock to eat here. So here's a trough here to catch any grain or uh, some of the hay. So the hay would be on this side, kind of like it is now, but, um, and then the livestock would come in over on the sides and then from the center here, you'd throw your hay over in these, uh, oh, they're kind of like uh, feeders or troughs. And then the cows or horses, sheep or what have you, would eat from that side. So this center part would be for machinery and uh, the storage of some hay. And right up the top center, there's a really large cupola. And uh, I'll explain in the other barn, because I believe it has a loft, what that does. More of the same over here. Okay. So I see a building uh, out here. I don't know if it's a house. It's there. That may be a. No, it looks like a little shed of some sort. That's a beautiful old barn. All right. Okay. Well, this looks like where they kept the feed. At one time, it would have been sealed off pretty good. <clears throat> This kind of looks like a, uh, a fairing house for uh, sows and that's going to pig. If there's a trough there, you could have put grain or slop in there. Then, uh, if I'm right, then the sows would have been in here uh, like cordwood this way, having their pigs and then uh, eating out of this trough. This room is here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna guess that this room's kind of a processing room since it's finished off. So it would be uh, a little cleaner, like uh, cutting up meat. It's just a guess. And then uh, out the back. Look at that barn coming up. That's beautiful. Maybe we'll go to the house first. This way. Okay, this looks like the uh, 
Well, is this the back door of the house? Or side door? All right. Not much in here. Closet. Still some nice couches in here. Take a little paint and carpet. She'd look good as new. Hmm. Oh boy, this room's a mess. Someone needs to clean this up if they're going to have a party. A couple of sheets of drywall. It'll look good. Hmm. Nothing really too old in here. Nice kitchen. Need some new appliances. Other than that, I think it'd be ready to go. This must be the living room. Yep. Nice little barn fall in there. Check out that bathroom. She's a fixer. Oh yeah. Well, maybe that was a bedroom back here. This this will be the living room right here. Massive. Okay, so you would have uh, exited your house and uh, you would have had a heck of a view of your nice barn. Here's a little tool shed over here. Check it out. So this is where you put your car, do any maintenance on it. Keep some of your tools in here. Well, here's a groundhog hole. Groundhogs love getting underneath that straw layer. It's easy digging under there. Another one. So right here's your workbench. All right, let's check out the big barn. There's the nice cupola up there, just like the other barn. And that's basically to vent the whole structure. Also to bring some light into the loft.
Okay, this one does have a loft. Looks like it's in good shape too. Might have been a place to put feed. Looks like another one for feed. Okay. I think I saw something out here interesting. Oh yeah, there's a beehive right here. Look at that, guys. I bet that uh, wall is full of honey. Another beehive over here. Going right into a knot hole. That's awesome. All right, let's find the ladder to the loft. There it is, I walk right past it. All right. Set up. One handed. <laughs> Made it. really nice loft up here I remember as a kid I grew up on a farm and we had a barn like this and we'd make uh, tunnels out of the hay bales and have one heck of a time up here so there's your cupola from the inside if you've ever been in a cupola I mean, if you've ever been in a barn with a cupola at night, right up there is where the uh, barn owl set. So if you're ever lucky enough to go into one, look up, you might see an owl. So we have a trolley up there, right there. And then we have a, it's like an I-beam that goes right up there in the peak. And I believe that's called a carrier and it extends out past this hay door, this loft door. And the way that worked was you had, a, had some people out front here with a rope and they would pull that down here. And then also connected to that would be another rope and a pulley system outside of the barn. The, the, here's a pulley up here, I see it. So right there is a pulley, and so you have a, a rope that pulls this trolley, and then there'll be another pulley or a hole coming out of here somewhere. I don't see it. Most likely down here. No, I don't see it, but anyway, there'd be a horse or oxen 
connected to the other end of that rope that would pull this trolley back. And then men on the outside would have a rope and pull the trolley back this way. And then when it got to the end, it would drop down and have a big hay uh, grapple. And then outside down here, out that way, you'd have your uh, either hay bales or your uh, just stacks of loose hay bundled together. And then the guys outside would, uh, would tell the guy with the, the horse to pull and, and it would pull that hay up and then it would come across here and then another guy with another rope would pull it and it would let loose and drop the hay bales or hay in here. And that's how that worked. But uh, this is a really awesome barn. Wow, nice view. All right, let's go back down. Doing this with one hand. Guys, thanks for uh, watching my video, and I hope you learned something about how barns used to work, and probably still work, say on a Mennonite or Amish farm. So, uh, thanks again for coming on my journey. I'm parked way down there, you can barely see me. So I'm going to head back to the vehicle. Thanks again for watching. Until the next video, see ya. Bye.